Oh, here we are talking more about polarity and manifesting and masculine feminine energy and all this shit because I had just posted something on my Facebook page and it got some people a little bit riled up and you know what? Fuck them. Fuck them. Because I've had it. I'm calling the industry out. Literally. Okay. Now, you know what? Somebody did remind me two completely different things can both be true at once. And I do believe that. So I'm going to say my experience. This is coming from my own experience with the people I'm choosing for my life. Right. And here's what it is. Like, the being in the feminine energy, which obviously is preferable, you know, I like to be in my feminine energy. Sitting back, leaning back, waiting for the men to come to you, waiting for the men to make the plans, waiting for the men to plan dates, etc. It doesn't always work as well as just sending them a text and saying, hey, you know, so I was having a conversation with my karmic twin yesterday and, you know, he's like, well, you just don't text me and da 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 da. And I'm like, well, because I'm trying to lean back, not chase after you and, you know, let you come to me. And he's like, that's dumb. He just straight out was like, that's dumb. Why don't you just text me? If you want me to come over, just message me. Like, seems logical enough, right? But this coaching industry, especially the men who are teaching polarity, they're not really understanding that in order for these teachings to work, both parties need to understand the teachings and both parties need to be on board with the teachings. And it's, it's kind of a rare thing for people to understand these teachings, even though it's supposedly the way of nature and knowledge, knowledgeable about um, human nature and things like that, um, it's oftentimes not that way in day-to-day -day life because of everybody's wounding, because of society, because of other things. Now, I asked him to get on here and do a video with me, and I said, you know, don't even have to show your face. You can just be next to me talking, and he would just tell you straight out what he told me. And that was, if you want something, just message me and ask. So, there you have it. Out of the mouth of a real red-blooded American man, okay? Now, this is not the only example that I'm going with. Um, my twin flame has also told me, well, do you want to sit over there and manifest me or do you want to just message me and see me in real life? And I'm like, well, I want to see you in real life, but I was trying to, you know, get it to where you message me first or whatever. And you know what? It's like it sounds good, but a lot of the time, I just don't think the guys are going to do it. Um, and I don't want that to be a limiting belief or anything. Like, I do believe it's totally possible that, you know, they can randomly reach out. But I also think that um, if you want to see someone or spend time with them, sometimes you got to do the reaching out. And I don't think that should be labeled as being in your masculine, even though maybe it is technically. I mean, upon making this Facebook post, though, I had a couple of people in the coaching industry get pretty pissed off at what I said. And so I called them out, um, the one anyways, because she was like, 
saying all this stuff um, about the energy clearing work and everything else. And I said, you know what? That session that you did for me didn't do shit. Yeah, I know how to be in my feminine energy. I know how to lean back and chill and not pursue a man. But that also just had me sitting here alone. And I was like, I got more results by just being that fucking girl who just calls and texts who she wants to call and text or show up. Like, that's going to get the results for me anyway. So, I don't know. The other thing was I had, like, a couple of random followers that were male reach out and say, thank you for posting about this as a man who is always confused about what women want. They think that we're supposed to be mind readers or whatever. He said, I would absolutely love it if the woman reached out to me and just said, hey, I'm in the mood for Mexican or hey, you know, whatever. Like, and I was like, thank you. Thank you for your feedback because I'm going to be making a video about this. Now, the one thing that I didn't necessarily like was yet another person in the coaching industry who I just had a session with a couple weeks ago who I actually felt like the session was pretty beneficial. Um started going off on me like, oh, I told you this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, this post wasn't even about you. I was like, this post is actually, it even stated, this is about the polarity teachings, right? And like the twin flame, you know, there's a lot of healing. There's a healing community, the twin flame community, the polarity community and all this shit, right? And they all got these teachings on how to get your specific person, okay? Now, it's working for a lot of people. I'm not going to say that. I see the success stories. The success stories have oftentimes been what's kept me going, what's kept me in a positive attitude. But here now, Mercury retrograde, really backing me up to see some shit for what it is, okay? Okay. And I see a lot of money spent on a lot of sessions, a lot of beliefs that I had in the industry, a lot of beliefs that I've held, and a lot of shit that never happened. And I'm just calling it out. And you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. If you're somebody that I've had a session or two or six with and nothing's changed in my life and I kept giving you money... Fuck you. I hope your money goes to literally nothing fun at all. I hope your money does not go to a nice car. I hope your money goes to unexpected bills or some other dumb bullshit, okay? Because guess what? If you're one of the people that I'm talking about who sat there and like, you know continued to like say all this shit oh I'm doing this this and that and it's like oh are you because here we are three years later still single now listen I don't think I'm that bad maybe I am maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm the worst okay let's just say I'm the worst person in the world and that's why I'm single okay that could be a possibility right but if I'm not the worst, and I'm actually just a really sweet, nice girl, and I'm not the ugliest, um, maybe I'm a fucking weirdo, I don't know. You know what? All I think about myself is that I can be pretty good looking. I've heard it from people that I am. I can be very sweet. Um, I just sit in my house. I'm not, like, I'm not out doing some crazy stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty loyal. When I love you, I'm loyal. So, technically, I'm thinking that there's not really a good reason that can be, you know what I mean? There's not really a good reason for me to be single. So, feeling and knowing all of that, 
I got into this healing community because I believed that it was a program inside of me. Okay. Childhood wounding, perhaps. Ancestral karma, for perhaps. You know, anything that the healing industry and the coaching industry and the polarity industry had to say, I was considering it. Because I said, you know what? If I want new results, I have to try something I've never done. So I've started doing things that I didn't do before. Now let me tell you, I love meditating. I'm glad I learned the skill. I'm glad that I learned a lot of the skills that I have by participating in these healings because a lot of the success that I've had with my clients is because I know what I'm doing starting to think maybe I need to do what I'm doing on myself somehow. Um, I don't know. You know what I mean? But it's like you want to keep that positive attitude. You want to believe that your positive thoughts can and will create. I mean, I watch the people on YouTube. You know, I understand. I understand the concept. I have the knowledge of the concept. It's just that, I, and I understand what's inside of you is reflected outwardly. I get that. And here I'm thinking, well, what is it inside of me that I'm not seeing that's being reflected that is showing up to me? You know what I mean? And I've gone from a person who would be seriously triggered to a person who's learned to deal with possible triggers and internalize and do the self-reflection. I am very self-aware, okay? I'm extremely self-aware. I'm knowledgeable. And I know a lot of energetic techniques that do serve as a coping mechanism sometimes. However, all the energetic work that I've done, all of the introspection, all of the clearing I've done, for what? I am still here, still single. And sure, one of these assholes in this industry is going to say, oh, there it is. That's your limiting belief. You're telling yourself you're single. Okay, come on. Well, I'm not single. I'm in a twin flame union, okay? My twin flame loves me and only me. Waiting for that to catch up, all right? I'm also open to soulmates. I'm also, you know, I'm doing my thug fizzle, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thug fizzle. If I get a chance to go out and interact with people, I'll do it. But I'm just saying... I have met a few guys from dating apps and I don't have the same type of feelings that I would have for the person I would label as my karmic twin or my twin flame. And that's just facts. You can't create feelings where they're not there. And so it's not a matter of, oh, I can't find any guy. Of course, I could find a million guys, but that's not the point. I'm not trying to get a million guys. I'm trying to get the guys I want, right? And also, they'll say, oh, well, that's the whole problem. You're trying. All right, listen. I've done the leaning back. I've done the sitting back. That's what this whole video is about. I've sat back and done nothing and stopped trying. And they're over there doing whatever it is they're doing, and they don't have a fucking clue, you know? They don't have the clue. Oh, I'm energetically, te telepathically picking up on Erica. Maybe I should message her. Okay, sometimes they do. Sometimes. But you know what? If the one's over there partying with his friends, the other one's over there elbow deep working on um, old cars... They're not thinking about messaging me. That's just, that's, that's what they're doing. Men get busy. Okay. Us as women, we're putting our relationships as number one priority. Most of us, right? 
relationships, family, that's what makes us thrive, you know? My dream is to have a happy family. I wanna be with the man I love and have a little family, okay? Yeah, so I already had some kids, but they're grown and I've never got to experience a happy little family. I, I would wanna have that. But the thing is, um, do the men that I want have that vision too? I don't know. Are they sitting around daydreaming about having a baby with me? Are they having the same visions? You know, pushing a baby in the stroller, walking through the park, enjoying the fall leaves, holding hands together, seeing how cute our little one is. I don't know. Do they share that vision? I don't know. I hope to find out soon. Um... We'll see. We'll fucking see. But as for right now, I'm just fucking straight out telling it like it is. And sitting back, leaning back. I mean, you can clearly see I'm sitting here by myself. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know, right? And it also goes for texting first. Yes, if you're following the teachings of polarity, Absolutely, the man should be reaching out first to the woman, okay? But if that's not happening over a certain period of time, you know, I pulled a little experiment today. I looked up a cute meme, said, good morning, handsome, you know, whatever, whatever. I sent it to both of the guys because I wanted to see if I would get a response. Because it had been a good chunk of time and I had not been texted by either of them. So I said, what happens if I reach out first instead of just sitting back waiting? You know what? Both of them responded. One responded immediately. The other one responded within 10 minutes. So reaching out, saying something cute, good morning, it got me responded to. Now, if I wouldn't have sent that, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe the one would have messaged me because we were still kind of in a somewhat active conversation. Um, maybe the other one would have messaged me, but I don't know. You know, all I know is that I had leaned back for hours and I decided to send a good morning text. And I got, and I got responses. So take this for what you will. Again, I'm not going to be claiming to be any kind of an expert on anything other than what's happening in my own fucked up world. But then again, I will also admit, hey, maybe I got more damage than the regular person because I'm like twice as old as the regular person. All right. Now, shh. I don't look like it and I never will. But it is true. I mean, I'm not your average teenager. So maybe I just have more work to do before these magnetics and the polarities start working. I don't know, but I'm just telling it like it is. And these people, these people with their coachings, with their teachings, with their sessions, I just, I think I've had it. I think I've freaking had it. So that's all we got for now. I will be back. I will be talking about more. And if I can get um, either of these guys on video, they're both private. And it seems like any guy I've really been with is very private. Um, I mean, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm out here. I'm, I'm social, you know, or I want to be social through the video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't like liars. Okay. I don't like fucking liars. And I feel like some, some of this industry, it might work for some people, but also I think other people need to take into accountability that it may not. So yeah, let me know. What do you think?